All right, a few things have been occurring for me for the past week or two, doing a lot of shadow work. I uh, found out that uh, I I had a lifetime of being on the cross and being crucified. And when I died, I remember seeing Mary just crying, her, her head in the dirt, and just standing in front of her. Just like really sad about it all and um this is funny because like i got this memory and before this memory I, I i saw that it was isis that was that was the real one that was on the cross that like they they crucified the divine feminine on the cross because jesus was with the divine feminine so they put you know isis on the cross too but when I died, I, I finally got past that because before that vision, I had one where I was getting raised on the cross. Well, this time I finally got the vision after it when I connected with the girl I was I was there with. And um, Mary was there. She was just crying. I was just kind of like looking at her, like all sad about it. But, you know, she couldn't see me yet. She was just kind of wailing and crying. And I kind of just walked through the village, just watch, watching everyone kind of like just freak out and kind of just having like a very like homely feeling and just like retrospective and kind of like how you like go back to your old middle school like when you're like 25 years old just remember your old stuff to reminisce and it kind of felt like that a bit like i was kind of like, i was just like seeing everyone suffer in their 3d i'm just kind of walking around just like glad that it was over and i remember being sad for the people that I left behind that I was teaching. Because I didn't always know what was going to happen with them, you know. And, oh, Mary Mary told me that she became a drunk or something. I mean, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't I don't have the memories of, of what happened with her after I left. But she, she told me that she turned into a drunk. And everything. And I, I mean, I don't have those memories yet of, it, of all that. Because there's just so much other stuff. But in the... And then after that, I started getting a lot of set, a lot of my set stuff came out. Um, I learned, I learned that um, he was always trying to um, fight the corruption that was occurring in Egypt, and then he started getting blamed for a lot of the problems. Like he was, he was killing a lot of people. That because what happened was they were stealing, they were stealing all the gods, and they were changing them. And Set always knew what was going on so they demonized him they made him into a bad guy they made him into an enemy because like they were trying to take over everything and he knew he was just like screw it. he's like shit like i gotta do this and so so they they changed all the stories all of <laughs> just wild they changed all the timelines they interjected everything in there. Oh, you know, and that's just like, <laughs> I mean, it was fighting. Don't get me wrong, like, but it, it just turned into like the Clone Wars, you know, in Star Wars. And that's just like, oh, well, I'm just gonna kill you, gonna kill you there. Oh, yep, you're dead there. I don't give a fuck. You're not the real Cyrus. I'm looking for him, and I actually, it's funny because I did find him eventually. I found him in, I think it was like August. I found him in the void. He's just like, uh, like crawling and stuff. And then, um, and then I found his heart too in the pet. So like, he was just all messed up. I don't, I don't understand because like then I saw that he he died, and I was like mourning him as a child too. It, it was just all these weird emotions that I was getting to my shadow. Work. Like I thought like Osiris died as a child, and then I got a vision that I was in a, I was in a pyramid meditate like i went in there as a child and they were all rounding us up too and i went into the black goo to, to hide from from the takeover because they're all rounding us up and i don't even know when this occurred so, so somehow i'm set as a child too and like they're rounding like I, it's so confusing like did i go into black goo and become everything to save everything like uh i don't know it's it's so confusing sometimes but i know i'm pata 
Todd is a big uh, incarnation of mine. I, it always activates for me. I've been up into the the temple with Sekhmet. Yeah, I was shown that. We were actually in bed together, and I didn't want to leave that, you know, because like I was, I just felt really at peace and love. And I'm, I'm just like oh, I've just been doing so much. Like, do I really need to like come back to this physical body? And and yeah, <laughs> of course I was going to, but. It is what it is, you know. It's, you, you, I get shown these things because it it, it it gives me a lot of drive to continue to do more of this work because I know that we will get this eventually. And this is such, I mean, what, 80 years out of a billion years of existence? Uh, you know, it's, I, can, I can handle the punches, you know, and especially after knowing all this shadow stuff. So, so what about set? So Set was helping with the American Revolution because I had an incarnation with that for uh, really close to George Washington. Um, about four days ago, um, I learned I learned about my involvement. Well, I, I knew I had involvement with the revolution. It came up early in my awakening, but I, I never had like really intense memories. So all this stuff came up. I I fell off a cannon fire and I fell. I hit hurt my back really bad. I felt that. Um, I remember getting, uh, remember bayoneting people, like real fierce. We were, we had our Kundalini activated too in the Revolutionary War, so we were fighting, we we're fighting tyranny. We were fighting for our right of our human genetics too. So it was like a whole different battle that was going on, because uh, George Washington was Freemason. We knew all, we were all like druids. We were all, you know, magical people, and we were, we were really close with the Tetragrammaton and all the building stuff and. I mean, most likely Anki and Enlil too. I mean, I, I, I mean, this was all this was all stuff before it was taken over and before the Freemason stuff was like looked as like really bad. And uh, we were just trying to get away from all that stuff. I saw and I saw myself on. I had a Patriot hat on. I was on top of a mountain. I mean, there's all these talks about the Blue Ridge Mountain, whatever, being a, a um, disclosure. So I'm thinking maybe. Maybe I'm just getting like the energy and the memories of it and stuff like that, and and where I'm involved involved with because it the Thomas Paine stuff I was listening to today it was just revving my head up so high, like like crown it was shooting hard and and all the the winter stuff it like really hitting hitting me hard <coughs> and um just interesting you know and like i'm getting all these memories of it and like my my lion just activates so so heavy and the kundalini gets so heavy and and it just hurts like my whole body hurts when all this activates and there's all these memories i'm shaking my my hands are shaking and my body's shaking and i'm just remembering all this stuff and all the crown of my head just surging with energy but just healing you know i'm like you know i'm remembering my trauma so it's healing the brain so I become smarter and like more focused and I can like think quicker. My words come to me faster. You know, I'm more alert. I, you know, I can see my surroundings better. It's like all the shadow work. It's like reprogramming my brain or um, resetting my cells, making, making this field stronger and more connected and just like really bringing back my power, you know, and, and it hurts. It hurts like hell, but like a day or two after, I mean, I went, I went from squat, I, I haven't, I've, I've been working out since June, all right, and the last time I squatted anywhere close to 225 was college, and this was 2009, and, um, it, yeah, I was doing 300 in 2009, and now, and I haven't done that since 2009, now I'm back up to 225. My hips feel stronger. I got way more power, more explosiveness than I've ever had. And I'm 34 now. And I feel like I'm reversing my age through all this stuff. My skin's softer. Like, I just feel so much better. And, like, it just feels good to know that I'm connected back with the divine energy, the divine light. And that we're getting our power back we're getting our freedom back this is real freedom having having your your energy and your body work correctly that's real freedom everything else is just external if you don't have a body that's completely free like it doesn't matter what you have i don't care what you have if you can't feel that if you can't connect your heart to someone like a hundred miles away like your family member just to see if they're alive and feel that connection from your heart you're not 
You're not free. You're not. Because a human being is supposed to feel their family. They're supposed to give energy to them if they're not feeling good. Because it prevents sickness and illness. And it, pr it protects people from mental illness, too, because then you can just shoot energy at your at your loved one, and then they feel better for a week. You don't need a fucking pill. You just need an electromagnetic field sent to you through the mind. That's the way it was supposed to be done, and that's why we've been fighting wars. We won't stop. They try to get us with black goo and insert us with behavior modification stuff in our heads. And then they they force that energy on the other people to make them go into like psychosis or mania. And then they're like, oh, look, he's crazy. And it's just like some dude that lives with him is just infected with all kinds of shit. And the guy next to him is just sensitive to the fields and it just goes, he goes fucking crazy and he doesn't even know why. Oh, it, it's like crazy what's out there and no one tells anyone what, what these things are. And they're just like, well, we tell them in a you know, subtle, subtle way. You know, we're still telling them. No, no you're not. <sighs> it's, all, it's all coming down. Everything is just... It's, what a mess. And I've just been learning a lot. You know, connecting to the sun, inhabiting the sun, vibrating into it, going into Spica, vibrating my star, feeling the love. Um, all the all the sages come around, and we just vibrate together, and everyone's so happy. You know, like it, it might not be, you might not see it down here yet, but I feel it up there. Everything has really gotten so much cleaner and better. Paravati is always so nice. Um, Brahma loves loves it all. I mean, we all have this new energy now, and it's it's completely unlimited. It it's so it's like just so hot too, and very easy to use. Charges you up so quickly. It's all wireless, you know, you just meditate into it, and you can just think about the diamond light, and it's just like, boom, you know, and then you're charged up. And then eventually cars will be like that, too, you know? But we got to figure this all out in this physical space, you know, we got to figure out all the words for it and the mechanisms and stuff, which we do have, but we got to we got to really connect it and then feel it and then test it and the height. You know, you just got to do the scientific method with all of it, but it's there. It's a lot more sensitive. Everyone's becoming more powerful and people are going to be able to feel it. So the test will be a lot easier. You know, people will be able to finally repeat tests and not like be all erratic because the fields were unstable. So big things coming. I'm excited. A lot, a lot of people are connecting, and I mean, it's just like one. It's wonderful. A lot of pain, but it's worth it. I mean, I, I've been coughing almost every day at the creek, just trucking out trauma, battling stuff. Um, oh yeah, the other day, uh, I went to the Temple of Solomon. He activated Solomon activated me. I, I felt it some way. The, the rabbis were freaking out. They're like, no, no, no. And, I'm like, and he just, I was like, well, watch this. He's ready. And it was like my full azazel form completely unlocked. Like all these chains, and like black magic sigils just exploded. And there I am in my form just like completely raging out. And I, um, I go into this deep, dark pit with Osmodius and, like, all his crew. And I just get this crazy memory of them just, like, stomping on my face, telling me how weak I am and how they have all the power and all the technology and that, that like, I'll never get out of where I am. And I just, like, I just remembered all it. I just, like, I just, like, tore them all up. I had everything. I was just, like, <sighs> like... All the darkest demons, just like all three of them, just like ripping them off, and just like, yeah, I'm back, back, assholes, and just oh, and I was so fierce, and um, and I just coughed, I coughed up all this stuff. I just like, oh, after I did it, it was it was so amazing, and 
And then everything, everything's just been going really good after that. A lot, a lot of people were complaining to my divine team about all this problem, all the stuff that I was doing. But like, I'm doing it for a reason. Um, one of my incarnations was Wellen the Smith and Volin too. So I was a blacksmith. I worked a lot with the goblins, uh, with a lot of the underworlds. I was, you know, I was always trying to clean out the underworld. Uh, Bill Tartarus, I was a pestis. You know, helping the gods do whatever they needed to do to balance everything. Because I was never after power. I was just like, we just need to build this up. We need, we need something. We need a physical space so we can do our work, so we can create energy for the universe. And we need a safe. The physical space is a really safe anchor. It's like an anchor. You know, if anything fucking goes wrong everywhere else, you can just like anchor yourself back here and recuperate yourself. So, so if we lost this place, then it was. <laughs> I mean. So this got dragged down into some fucking pit of some crazy darkness after Atlantis, and we had to fucking dig it out, and it was just us, like, uh, you know. Sometimes it just felt like it was just me for a long time, but now now it's, like, way more organized. I mean, back in 2019, it was just crazy. Huh. The whole place was just falling apart. I was going into psychosis, mania. God knows, I got attacked by so many, sh so much shit. Frequency jammers in my consciousness, just like digging straight through my freaking mind, lightning, just like, oh my God, I'm going to psychosis, help me. And I'm just like, and I'm like holding these spirits in my heart to eat them because they're trying to like mess me up. It was a complete war and trying to stop everyone from stop, from like completing this diamond grid and Ugh, so much stuff, so much war. I mean, I got I got journals full of stories and stuff, and but these are just my recent stuff. So, so um, oh yeah, and also I had a, I had a, so, some weird thing with Space Force and Trump. Um, I was down at the creek. I was sitting on one of my one of my rocks that I like to sit on, and I I trudged through interference, and on the other side was a portal to Space Force. And some black guy was like, he looked like he was like a main guy, kind of like giving commands to everything, like the like lower commanders and stuff. And there's just, there's like people with radio just like talking. And there's me, I just stick my head through the portal as I got through. And I'm like, hey guys, just like looking around. And and then they, they pushed me into like a portal to go, to go get Trump and, and Melinda and Baron. They were all being attacked by chaos. And I had to like clean out the room. I coughed more stuff out. Uh, I mixed emotions about all that. I mean, I was happy to help him in the beginning, and then it just like got annoying because he never he was made everyone angry. You know, like I didn't I like jokes and stuff, but that was just got too much. Um, I was reluctant to help, but I told Melinda I wanted her wanted her to kind of like take it over a bit. You know, keep him on a short leash. And Baron was being attacked by chaos. I just, I just coughed out. It was funny because I saw Trump. He was, he was fighting some chaos monster with a sword. And I was just like shaking my head, like, "What is this guy doing?" <laughs> no, it was just weird. It was weird, serious. I don't know what. I. It was just like whatever. Because I, I never really looked much into space force or anything. So it was, it was really surprising to see that come up for me. And a lot of that Biden stuff came out like, a few days after that happened. So I was just like, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if we just got some information, you know. But um, that was good. So, yeah, it's a lot of wars and problems and archons, and they're all they're all jumping ship and getting angry now because uh, they're losing all their power, so they're eating up everyone else. So it's just, it's just falling, and we're just kind of just waiting for it to just collapse completely. And then... I mean, our systems are all online. I'm connected to it. So many other people are connected to it now, and and we're feeling good. I mean, we're all, all our hearts are beating so hard that the uh, the fire, the fire heart, the Sophia Christos Sacred Heart, and a lot of us have it now. It's, it's complete. The whole thing is complete, and it's it's just all about uh, getting rid of all the shadow energy and all the all the stuff that's in your in your stomach and all the dark. Like the like the sludge, you know, the things that aren't for you, that aren't compatible with the system, all needs to come out. 
so we can finally, you know, you can get back to the power that you have. You know, whatever your star is will be part of your aura. You know, you'll feel that fire. Um, and then, like, whatever whatever energy systems you've accumulated through all your different lifetimes, too, like, will be installed into your meridians. That that, that happened to me. Um, so, like, yeah, like, you'll have, like, you'll have, like, sigils on your, on your palms and stuff, and you can, like, activate it and, like, share it with other people. Um, because, uh, we have golden meridians now. We installed those. We created that with the Heroes Gamos, which allows for the meridians to work really well. And it's, it's just like light. It's just, you think it and it goes through, right through your meridians because it's, it's, it's gold. Your, your, your nervous system's gold now, you know? Um, Mother Goddess is back. Oh my gosh. She's so, she's so happy with everything. She sees the whole sister. She's just like, I, she just her mouth is just like drops you know it's beautiful um who are all the stages are oh, they're all happy yeah they they're always yeah i feel them right now on my top of my head uh the angels and vishnu and brahma all the women the, oh my god they're all they're all starting to figure out a lot of it was was me and few others all the druids were getting boners for the last two months just like working hard clearing out getting the storms you know we were all we were all getting into andromeda you know we we're using our the women and the men were getting together having fun just like blowing all this energy to reconnect all these star systems and exploring their sexuality again the way it was always meant to be and we're just having fun doing it you know we're just destroying it we're you know, we're, we're having fun, and we're just seeing them just, like, cry and fall and stuff, and we're all laughing and having a good time, and, like, we're telling them this is going to happen, and they're all just, like, you can be a part of it, or you can just, like, get destroyed by it. We don't care. We're here with love, you know? If that's going to destroy you, so be it. <laughs> all right, well, that's about it. My heart's really going big here. It's a lot of fun, you know. It, it, we're almost done with everything, so we're just gonna watch watch it play out on the 3D plane and just sit back and relax. 